game, so far as I'm concerned, uh, is still the most Catholic and the best of the major Catholic universities in the country. Um, it, uh, uh, it has resources uh, for, the, uh, for the strengthening uh, of, of Catholic faith available to students that are unparalleled. Uh, the activities that go on here in the Ethics and Culture Center, for example, uh, and the many uh, social justice activities of the students, the Right to Life group, and all of that are just exemplary. Um, uh, that, in a way, uh, is part of the problem because as the study, I might mention uh, the best of the studies, the most illuminating, uh, is, uh, is a book by a former provost of Notre Dame, um, Father James Burchill, The Dying of the Light. Um, and it, it's a, it is a case study of the secularization of originally religious institutions, both Protestant and Catholic, uh, and the pattern is uniform. Uh, he lays out what amounts to a blueprint for the secularization of a university. And the, the feature that stands out the most, not only in his study, but in all, is that the process begins and ends with the faculty. Uh, but in the meantime, as the faculty is being, is being uh, secularized, as a Baptist organization says after a while, well, uh, it, it'll be perfectly all right to have evangelicals uh, and then, uh, then uh, mainline Protestants and then, for goodness sakes, even some Catholics. Uh, well, by then the game is over, as you know. And, uh, and, then, and the mission statement uh, is modified accordingly until finally it's, you know, all good people. Um, now, I do want to draw your attention to the mission statement uh, that I have extracted, the part of the mission statement here, because it's of crucial importance. Uh, the mission statement of the University of Notre Dame uh, declares that the Catholic identity of the university depends upon the continuing presence of a predominant number of Catholic intellectuals on the faculty. That is a singularly important and a singular element in a mission statement. Uh, it, uh, uh, the uh, author of it, uh, Father Malloy, has described it as meaning that there must be more than a mere majority here, that numbers count. It reflects the standard established in Ex Corte Ecclesiae, uh, the uh, the uh, document by John Paul, Pope John Paul II describing the nature of a Catholic university and the most recent study of Catholic universities um, discloses that this is the common view of Catholic administrators and executives across the board in the country. Once you let the number, the proportion, whether it be Catholics or, or Presbyterians or whatever, shrink to a minority, uh, you've got a university that may be irre irretrievably on the, on the road to uh, secularization. So, so we focus here upon that subject. Father Jenkins uh, has declared that it is a priority of his to stem this decline, which you can see from that graph, has been from about 85% of a Catholic university in the 1970s to about 53% today, a steep and unbroken uh, decline. Uh, if it is not arrested, uh, then uh, the mission statement clearly uh, is in great trouble. 